Hey, Plant Pals, Mike the Kindergartner, and today's video, it's Meatless Monday, and it's December 16th, and I've been growing this Dazzling Blue Kale in my Zimhu garden system. This system was far enough away from the, uh, the, the pests that they didn't get over to it, so I've been enjoying a, a couple of meals already. It's only been a month, and I've already had, uh, like two salads and... A few snacks <laughs> off of this dazzling blue kale. It's very delicious. And I'm going to harvest some more. So you see how it's getting up to the light here already. And they're pretty big leaves. So I'm going to harvest the bigger leaves. Let the smaller inside growth. It's kind of it's called the uh, cut and come again method. Where you take the outer leaves and let the inside leaves grow. You know the big ones that are kind of like starting to hang over. And block the light of the other ones. You cut those and then they in about a probably less than a week, sometimes it's just a couple days, they'll get to be that size. And sometimes, freakishly, a small leaf like this will turn into a big leaf like this, almost seems like overnight. So, yeah, and you can see all these ones in the back here. So, I have plenty enough to make myself a salad, which is what I'm going to do today for my uh, Meatless Monday. All right, well, I'm going to harvest a bunch of these. All I do is I just harvest the, uh, the tall, like this big leaf here, I'll just harvest that. And all these other ones that are kind of like hanging over, you see how large they are? But they do have that beautiful, kind of a neat uh, electric blue slash purple, <laughs> neon purple uh, veining to them. They're, it's a very beautiful to look at. I, I, mean, I keep this next to me in my man cave, and I just love looking over at it. It, it cheers me up. It's uh, cold and dreary outside, and snowing, and wet, and... and not very it's gray there's no sun we don't really usually don't, don't get sun until it's the spring so, and if we do get sun it's usually because the sky is cloudless which means it doesn't trap the heat which means it's an extra cold day so <laughs> so sometimes a sunny day in the cold climate is not a great thing because there's nothing blocking the uh holding the heat in all right i'm gonna harvest this and i'll be back beautiful all right, I harvested all this kale. You can see how big the leaves are, bigger than my hand, and that's just a month's growth, hydroponically inside. And it's beautiful. So I'm going to get that to salad. I'm going to make a a uh, a dressing that I like. It's not really, I can't really name it because it's, it's, I use a bunch of different things in it to make my dressing. It's got the little bit of ranch powder. And so it's not vegan because it's, I believe there's milk in the dip mix. And let me think. You know, I might, I might eliminate that and then it will be completely vegan. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So this, out the door. I'm going to have mushrooms, I'm going to have the kale, I'm going to make a vinaigrette dressing, I'm going to use some of my Renaissance Grandma's Blessed seasoning, the little sodium seasoning, I'm going to use some tamari, that's that's uh, vegan, there's no uh, wheat or animal products in that, I need some olive oil, and a little, dice up a little bit of celery for some crunch, and um, some of the romaine hearts that I had left over from when I had my my uh, keto taco meal and I rinsed out some uh, garbanzo beans also known as chickpeas so and I love them I love them uh, in a salad so I'm gonna get to it and I will show you the results first off I'm gonna wash the uh, lettuce I don't need to wash the kale because that was grown inside and there are no pests thankfully, <laughs> inside in my house at this time, so I'm good to go on that. I got the mushrooms, and I got the celery. So I'm going to wash the celery and the the, the, uh, the lettuce. I already rinsed that, so we're good to go. So I'm going to get that put together. I will be back. All right, I got the lettuce washed, and I washed the celery. I've already diced some of the celery up, and if I had... Uh, if it wasn't winter time and it was in the summertime, I would stick this in the dirt outside and I might be able to grow some more lettuce. 
or if nothing else, I can get to grow to a seed. Even if I get, even if it bolts, I'll get seeds and I can grow my own, which would be awesome. But I don't have the facilities set up right now for it to do it inside, so unfortunately, it's going to go into the <laughs> trash. But I've used pretty much all I could off of it, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to pretty much assemble my salad, put the kale on there, and then I will show the making of the vinaigrette. All right. Anyone who knows me knows that I like to have peppers in all my dishes, so I diced up one of my orange spice jalapenos, and I of course saved the seeds so I can grow more later. <laughs> I had the uh, grater here because I was going to uh, grate some cheese, but I decided to just go ahead and make this a uh, full vegan salad for me this Monday. Why not? right back I'm gonna make sure I thoroughly wash this uh, lemon so I can use some of the uh, lemon zest now even though I bought an organic lemon and I washed it already when I got it home I still like to make sure so give another quick wash I'm going to get a little bit of the zest Without, you don't want the, the white part because that's the bitter stuff. I got a little bit of zest here. Didn't get too much, but not trying that hard. Eh, a little more. So I always end up grating my finger, so that's why I'm more extra cautious. Alright, so I got a little bit of lemon zest in here. Don't need a ton. I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to juice it. Now, if I lived in a warm climate, or I had the room, like I had a walkout basement where I could get some sun, or I had the uh, facilities to grow something, I would grow a lemon inside too. You got seeds. And it's an organic lemon, so why not try? It would be free to try. But I don't, so unfortunately I can't. Let's see if I can, which way I can do this so it's this way, one handed. I think that's going to be plenty of lemon juice, so I'll save the other lemon for later. Set that aside. I'm going to put a little bit of the blessed seasoning in here. Because it tastes good. I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar. Oh, my light went out. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just go ahead and use it all. And if I have extra, uh, if I have too much dressing, I'll just save it for later. Because I got a whole nother, <laughs> got a whole bunch more salad here that I, nonetheless, I rinsed out. I will add a little bit of extra of my onion and garlic powder from my garden. Because I always do. I dehydrated it myself. And you can see there's red onion in here and white onion and garlic. Not much. That side. I like to put a little bit of tamari in mine just to add that little extra something something. You don't need to, you can admit it if you want. But it's my dressing. That's how I like it. Put it that way. And to uh, make an emulsion, how you make an emulsion is you have a little bit of a mustard. That's an old school trick. A little bit of salt because there's no salt in it. Well, the tamari has some salt. Pepper. I like a lot of pepper. And the extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to taste it and see if it needs. Salt, pepper, whatever, I will adjust it. More oil, less oil, more vinegar, less vinegar. We'll try it and see. So I'll give this a good thorough whisking. And I tend to like my dressings on the sweet side, so I'll probably add a little bit of uh, either stevia 
or because I do have the heat in here from the, the chilies. So I'm going to add either some stevia or some uh, monk fruit. It would help if I had a fork. And then we get a little spoon for second taste. Mm, it's really good. Could use a splash more vinegar. And you know what? Just because I have it, I'm going to use my pepper sauce. That's from my garden. And it's hot. <laughs> I can tell it. Because the, <laughs> apparently the chilies weren't hot enough for my, my taste buds. Or someone else it might uh, blow them out but <laughs> for me it's mild all right so i'm going to uh grab the stevia and put a little bit of stevia in here ah not too much <laughs> i want serious heat just and if I don't kick over the camera, that would be great. And again, this would be easier if I wasn't doing it one-handed. I should have. One tip I could have did is I could have put a wet paper towel. Oh, welcome back, camera light. <laughs> I could have put a uh, wet paper towel under this, which I think I will do because I have one right here because I was using it to make sure the garbanzo beans didn't make a big mess so that's a quick tip if you want a stable surface moisten a paper towel and as you see it's not going anywhere i want some more pepper a touch more salt To give that a taste. Perfect. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, excellent. All right. So, going to. I don't like my salads crazily. And this is a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna not. It's not like I'm gonna be uh, hungry on this meat this Monday. I love a giant salad. That's good enough right there. Okay. So if I wanted to, I could have added some, uh, let me focus in on it. If I wanted to, I could have added some cheese, you know, which would still be vegetarian. If you do uh, dairy and you're a vegetarian, you know, lacto vegetarian or whatever, lacto ovo, so I could have had eggs too. Um, but I decided to just do a vegan meatless Monday because why not? I think this is going to be delicious. All right. Thumbs up. Okay. Thanks for watching. Any comments, questions, leave in the comment section. Please, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. You have an awesome day.